What is up? What are you doing? That was a good one, huh? You like that last video? <laughs> Love, man. Love is everything. Okay? Now, I want to talk about this. I want to talk about like things that are perpetual, right? Things that constantly are moving. Things are constantly creating momentum. Where does it come from? How do we keep it moving? What is it really? Okay? Now, we this is all about literally 10x in your success. So you were successful at one, let's do it nine more powerful times, right? How do you do that, right? Remember we talk about practice, practicing self-love, practicing drinking water, right? All of that stuff, we're gonna do that now. Perpetual, okay? Perpetual momentum. Things that fuel itself, okay? This is why one of the most powerful things that I talk about is looking inside yourself instead of banking your uh, emotions and your progressive or, or your progress on the thoughts and ideas of other people. It, that doesn't make any sense. What we want to talk about today is perpetual reinforcements. This is very interesting because you look back at what you've been practicing and you look back at what you, or you look forward into what you can practice. And from there you go, okay, I've been practicing this, I've been practicing that, it makes sense, but then where are the reinforcements? Where are the things that help us stay on track? What is it really? How do we practice these things? What is it? And what's interesting is this does relate to the next module, which is mastering what you practice. But in this specific video, I want to talk about what perpetual reinforcements are and how to use them. Nobody can stop you from moving forward, only you. You have been in your own way your entire life. And if you're reading this, you're in charge now. Nobody is going to show up and rob you of your happiness. Don't hand it over to anyone. No one's coming. No one was showing up to save you in the exact same way nobody's coming to rob you of your success. Nobody's going to show up and interrupt and stop caring about you. Stop doing those things that are healthy for you. And if you're around people like that, then you don't need to be around them. Those are toxic people. But you're, you're better than that. You know more than that. You know they're not good for you. You know they're not helping you move forward. If they're not helping you move forward, then what are they doing? Are they helping you stay put? My point with this is you have been in your own way the whole time. The whole time. If you're here, you're recognizing that the only reason you're here is because you've gotten out of your own way. Now you have less to worry about because you, you've gotten a taste of what it's like to take your life by the reins. You know exactly what it takes for you to show up. You know exactly what it takes for you to show up day after day, hour after hour, spend time in your mind, give yourself all the self-love and all those things that you really, really, really want. Nobody's going to show up and take it from you. They can't take your success. What are they going to do? How are they, they what, give me your success. What, is, does success mean money? You need to get clear on what success even means. Success to me is happy. If I'm happy, I'm successful. This is how simple my life is. If I'm happy, I'm successful. At my lowest, right out of the hospital, bright yellow, bright, everything yellow, could barely walk, stuck on the couch. The whole thing that I needed, I was like, there's no way I'll ever be successful because I can't even find or create happiness. How am I going to do this? How is this possible? So I realized, I set, this, I set this understanding for myself and I said, if I could be happy at my lowest, then I'll feel successful. And so I put all my time into writing down everything I liked, everything I didn't like, everything I loved everything that didn't represent love to me. I got very clear. And then what I realized is that I wasn't surrounded by the things I disliked. I wasn't around those angry people. I wasn't around the drama. I wasn't around the bad food. I wasn't around those things. And because I wasn't surrounded by the things that upset me, I was in a place to feel love, to be happy. Happiness isn't just what you have, it's what you don't have to worry about. And so most of our lives we go like, there's starving children and <laughs> I get you, that's a little far-fetched. But when you look at your immediate life and go, 
I don't have to worry about that anymore. I don't have to deal with this. I don't need this or that or that or that or whatever. Then you're able to feel successful, find happiness, feel happy. Now that you feel happy at your lowest, you feel successful. No one's going to show up and rob me of my success. Nobody's going to walk through the door and make me feel less successful because I'm continuously, I'm continuing to move forward every single day, just like you. Nobody can rob you of what you've done. Only you can throw that away. That's a decision that you are beyond capable of making, but you're beyond sober. You're living a life of abundance and gratitude and empathy, empathy for yourself. You're understanding you. You've applied empathy this entire time to your entire existence, and now you understand why you drink, why you have that bad habit, why you do those things. You've given yourself love. We're done now with that. We're good. We've moved on. We're moving forward. Nobody's going to rob you of that. It's okay to hang on to that. It's okay to be proud of you. It's okay to bask in your own glow and go, I'm doing it. <laughs> moving forward. You only care about your continued success and happiness. The only things that matter in your life are the things that make you happy, make you feel successful, and make you money. Anything else is moving you backwards. You know this. To perpetually reinforce, to continually reinforce your success, your progress, your movements. I say this, remember, most of this program is repetition. I'm literally burning these things into your beautiful mind to where you could probably have expected for me to say that. You probably predicted, ah, oh, he's going to say happiness, success, and abundance. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. And when you practice those things, when you look at those things, you go, well, if it's not making me feel happy, I don't need to do it. Okay? If they don't contribute to my happiness, I don't need them. I don't want them around. It's not that you don't need them, it's that you don't want them. I don't want that type of drama. I don't want that type of conversation. I don't want that type of information. I don't want that type of environment. If you don't want that thing, that's because it's not making you happy or contributing to your success. I'm contributing to your success, but only if you allow that. Only if you go, yeah, yeah, he's definitely helping me feel successful. Cool. Then you could allow me into your life. But if I started screaming at you right now, I'd be like, you're stupid and boom and whatever. Whatever I choose to say that doesn't help you feel successful or contribute to your happiness, then shut it off. Shut off this program. If, you don't, if I am not contributing to one of those three categories, happiness, success, or abundance, then shut it off. I'll give your money back. If for any reason you're going, no, I don't feel that he's contributing to these areas or I'm getting nothing out of it, you let me know that you're in week five and you don't feel anything new and I'm not helping you or contributing to one of those three areas, you can have your money back. No questions asked. You, or if you wanted to explain yourself, which you don't have to, you can write an email and say, you told me to say this thing and I was in module five and I want my money back. Cool, we'll make that happen. No problem. But the point is, is I know beyond any reasonable doubt that I contribute to one of those three areas. So if you were to do that, that means you're lying to yourself, which is something you don't do. Because happy people, successful people, don't do that stuff. They don't have to, they don't need to. It doesn't make sense right so remember this if something or someone is not contributing to your happiness your success or your money your abundance your feeling of abundance then it's not for you those people can be for other people people that are worse off than you worse off than you'll ever be because those people have a group of people too you're leveling up because you surround yourself with people like me and like everybody else in, this, in the Beyond Sober program, we're all working together in supporting each other's success. That's why it's so powerful. <laughs> what you feel is what you attract, right? The more honest you are with yourself, good and bad, the more honest opportunities will flow to you. You felt so deeply in your core that you were ready for change. You attracted me. This is just the beginning. You knew you were ready for change. You knew you were ready for a shift. You knew you were ready to transform. In your core, we talked about this in the last video, to your core, it felt right. However you got here, the universe provided you with all the, all the necessary ingredients for you to be here, and you're here. Because you felt that way, you attracted me and everybody else into your life. 
absolute proof that you're doing it right. I don't attract people that I can't benefit from. That just doesn't happen to me. And if for whatever reason we may cross paths, I know immediately that that person is not for me. In the same way that you know immediately that my face, my energy, my story was for you. You attracted that. That's because you felt it. When you feel successful, when you feel happy, you see things in a different way and you go, that's going to help me feel more of what I love. I love feeling happy. I love feeling successful. I love feeling abundant. I love these things. And because you exude this energy, this glow, the universe sees it. The people around you see it. They feel it. And they contribute to that. It's, e it's difficult to get happy and to start glowing. But once you do, it's easy to stay there. This is why we put in the work that you're doing right now. This is why you keep showing up. Because that glow is getting brighter. People are starting to see it. You're starting to feel it. All of those things. I can feel it right now with you. Because of that, you're going to attract more opportunities. I call this reverse paranoia. Oh, another opportunity. Look it over my shoulder. Every time I look over my shoulder, it's another opportunity for more success, more happiness, more abundance, more things that are going to contribute to me feeling the way I want to feel. That's what you're doing. That's because you're practicing. That's because you show up. Because you're only doing the things that make you feel happy, feel successful, or make you feel abundant. Right? Super powerful stuff. Right? Nothing can make you feel anything you don't want to feel. There isn't a force in the entire world that's powerful enough to interject into your mind without an invitation. Healthy boundaries and honesty will remind them they aren't welcome. Think about that for a second. <laughs> After everything that we talked about, you understand undeniably that your feelings are a choice. You're in control of them. They are yours. Nobody can take your emotions. Nobody can make you feel anything. Going back to love and all that, remember? The love you feel is the love that you have. So if I say, hey man, I love you, and you feel loved, that's the love that's inside you. It's not you can't feel my love. You could only feel the love that's inside you. In the same way that I can say, you're stupid. If you don't give me your emotions, then that's just words. It's nothing. Nobody can make you feel anything. You might be able to receive pain, like something hits you. Ow, that hurts. But no one has control over your emotions unless you hand it to them. Responding to bullies, responding to parents that are interrupting us, responding to negative anything. If we give it our time and our emotions, remember, if we give anything our time, we're creating more time for us to agree with them. If somebody's saying something, if somebody's doing something, if you feel a certain way, that's your fault. That's your fault. You can't blame them for your feeling. You can't. Take that back. You can. But then what are you practicing? Blaming? It's your, it's self-esteem. It's your esteem. It's not their esteem. Their esteem may have contributed to why they said what they said. But you don't have to, you're not obligated to feel a certain way. You don't have to respond. You don't have to react. You don't have to do any of that. That's a choice. But given through this entire program, you've practiced not reacting. You've practiced responding, giving yourself seven seconds to just sit and process, let the emotion wash over you, get to know you. You know, Chances are you wouldn't even allow that person around you anyway because they're, they're not helping you move forward. So why are we listening to them anyway? Why are we involved with that anyway? That's unhealthy energy. <laughs> so many of us have been going like, dude, if you're not partying, man, you're not living. <laughs> I live at the top of mountains with family and friends and all this stuff and in the gym. I'm living, 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 living 24-7 and it has nothing to do with a substance or a bad habit or anything like that. You live. You love living. 
It's magic what happens. We don't have to have these things around. If it's not going to contribute to your happiness, you don't have to do it. If they aren't saying something that's going to help you amplify how much love you have for yourself or how happy you are, then we don't do it. With that said, once again, nobody can make you feel anything you aren't allowing yourself to feel. This puts you in a place of acceptance. Module one. <laughs> you see how it's all intertwined? You see how we continue to do this and repeat it? You start to understand it? You accept that you're in control. You know that if you're having an emotional response, that it's your fault. You have to take credit for that. This is the same way. I don't take credit for your success. If you feel great, awesome. You did that. If you're not having a good time, awesome. You did that. That's not me. I can't make you feel anything. You can't even make you feel anything. You could only allow a feeling to set in. This is why sometimes we're like, I just want to watch the Goofy movie. And you're like, it doesn't work. <laughs> It's because you're not allowing yourself to feel joy. There's things in the way. You can't mask it. So many of us go like, I can feel happy, I'll drink alcohol. <laughs> That's just an immediate response to something you think is joy. That's something familiar. Because you're familiar with the feeling of alcohol, that makes you happy. Or at least you're convinced that you're happy. When in all actuality, you're disconnecting from your absolutes. But you're not that person. <laughs> you want to feel these things. You want to allow these emotions. What emotions are you allowing into your life and which ones do you want to continue allowing emotions are good they're indicators that you're alive they're indicators of what you want to process indicators what you're okay with what you're not okay with emotions are meant to be felt and I'm proud of you for feeling what you've already felt and we're gonna continue feeling cheers to that check this out <laughs> your new habits do not allow you to refer to old habits you know better, you've come so far, and you're more intelligent than ever before. There's absolutely no way you would ever move backwards. You know what's back there. Think of how far you've come. Think of how many videos you've watched. Think of how many hours you've invested in yourself. You seriously are gonna go, I'm just gonna disregard all of the new information. You're a brand new you. You're a brand new version of you, practicing new version of you things. So to do the old version of you stuff is disconnecting from future you and the you that you are now, which is the best version of yourself. <laughs> you're way more intelligent. We talked about this. You're way more intelligent than to go back and do those things because you know exactly what's over there. You know exactly what's over there. If you've made it five weeks into Beyond Sober, that's five weeks further away from the person you really don't want to be. <laughs> Dang! There's no re This is th being an ex alcoholic. That's the reality. An ex alcoholic, someone that used to drink, had the problems, no longer has a problem, but then goes, I choose not to go back very passionately. <laughs> because if I were to go back and drink alcohol, that means I would accept the fact that I'm moving backwards. I would I'd be disappointed because all of my progress. Yes, I would still think these same things, but I'm smart enough. I would literally be insulting my intelligence by drinking alcohol again. An ex-alcoholic knows better. We're smarter than that. I'm not afraid of alcohol. I don't know a single ex-alcoholic that's afraid of alcohol. You can put it in front of us. We had our problems. We know what's going to happen if we do it. We choose not to do it. We don't have an emotional response to it. We just know better. In the same way as you don't want to put your foot under the wheel of a car, it's going to hurt, dude. In the same way you go, hey man, please don't hit me in the face with that baseball bat. We know that we don't want to put our head in the way of this swing. It's that obvious. It's just like, I definitely don't want to be there for no other reason than it's not going to help me move forward. You're so passionate about moving forward that you wouldn't allow something to move you backwards. That's alcohol. That's drugs. That's people. That's bullshit. Excuse my language, not sorry. When you, let, when you do that, like, you gotta understand this. The connection, the reality with drinking alcohol as an ex-alcoholic is equally detrimental as letting someone toxic into my life. If someone from my past that contributed to the reason why I died walked through the door and I allowed them in my life, that is exactly the same 
as me taking a shot of alcohol. It's the same. It's practicing toxic behavior. That's not what future me knew me do. <laughs> That's not what future you knew you do. You don't allow that stuff. That's not helping you move forward, so you would never, ever, ever consider it, would you? No, that doesn't make sense. Even though you were so good at allowing that in the past, you don't allow that in the future. You don't accept that now. Future you is excited for what you're doing right now. You may not even know it, but there's gonna come a time when you go, it all makes sense. I feel that superhuman that he was talking about. I don't even recognize myself in the mirror anymore. Who am I? That's a beautiful experience. That's when you level up. That's when you realize on a conscious level that you've leveled up into a new human, a new person, the best person. Old you doesn't show up for themselves the way that you're showing up for yourself right now. Old you didn't take the program, new you did. Future you did. You're just here now, experience it, experiencing it in real time. Future you has already been there. Future you was there for a long time. Future you is the reason why you said yes. It was inevitable that you were gonna be this person. It was inevitable that you were gonna be here because what you've been through has led you to make every decision you've ever made. The universe aligned in all of the right ways. You made the decision in the same way that it was inevitable that you were to develop a habit is the same way it was inevitable that you were going to be here. How amazing. <laughs> Isn't that trippy? So if you ever needed to know if you're in the right place or not, you definitely are. And I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I'm going to drink to that, then I'm going to move on to the next video. Cheers.